Hello people, my name is Eloy Sanchez, a senior front-end developer and a Web3 JS ambassador. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Web3 plugin Multicall Library. This video is made mainly for Web3 developers who want to learn how to use it in order to interact in a smooth and efficient way with Multicall 3. Worth to mention, this plugin fully supports Multicall 3 contract functions. In order to properly follow this guide, I would suggest to have an intermediate understanding of how JavaScript works. And please, don't forget to follow Web3JS on Twitter in order to stay up to date with the latest news and join as well our Discord channel so you can meet all the developers and ask any doubts regarding the library. So guys, with no more further ado, let's start coding. First of all, we should create a directory for our project. For that, we will do make directory. In that case, I'm using this name, but you can use whatever name is more convenient for you. Let's create it. Cool. Let's cd inside the directory. Perfect. And now, let's initialize the project. For that, we will use npm in it. I like to use this flag so um, all the initial values are, will, will be set by default but it is completely up to you. Okay, perfect. Let's go inside. Let's open everything in Visual Studio Code. Great. For the sake of simplicity uh, I will prefer to use the embedded terminal in code, much easier for all of us. Um, first of all, we should start installing the corresponding libraries. For that, we will do npm install web3. And of course, the library from this tutorial. I will leave everything on the video description. Don't worry about it. Perfect. Great, everything is installed. Something important to note it's don't forget to add in the JSON file in the package.json file this key value which will allow us to use ES modules within our files. Okay, that's important, don't forget about it. Okay, now we should create create the main file. For that we will do touch this command it's used to create files within the terminal, we will do touch index.js, for example. Coolio. We got it. Nice. So, first of all, we should start um, importing Web3. We'll do port Web3 from Web3. Okay. Now we're going to create a main function, a sync function, of course. Sync. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we should instantiate Web3 and we need to pass an RPC endpoint as a parameter. So we'll do cons. Web3, new Web3, so this method is it's being used here. And now we need the RPC URL. For that, we will use this one. I will leave everything on the, on the video description. Don't worry about it. Okay, perfect. Um, second of all, we will need to register the plugin. For that, we will need to import the method indeed for multi-call, which is called multi-call plugin, of course. Multi-call plugin from perfect. Great. So here now we should type web3 dot register plugin open parenthesis new 
multi-call plugin. Great, perfect. Now we should do const erc20 equal new web3 is we call the contract. But to complete this line, first of all, we should we should have the ERC20 ABI, okay? And for that, we will get it from here. Don't worry again, um, I will leave all the information on the video description. Don't worry about it. So we can do something like new folder, ABIs, perfect, the new file, ERC20, boom, JS. Great. We paste it. And now we can do, since it's an array, we can do something like we can export it to an ERC20, ABI, and here I'm forgetting codes. Great. So that means that now here we can import ERC20 ABI from perfect auto complete. That's great. And now here we can already pass the ABI and it's also expecting an address that I will leave as well on the documentation. This is um, a Uniswap token Ethereum mainnet address actually. Okay. Now it's time to create the array of calls. So for that we will do const calls open array okay it's an array of objects actually first object we will do target web3 multi call dot contract address okay then we create the call data again web3 multi-call here we can use for example get last block hash and of course you have to use encode abi code abi okay perfect now let's create another object in that case it's going to be slightly bit different in that case let's do target Let's get it from ERC20, ERC20, options, and address. Perfect. Let's create a call data key again. And now we do ERC20, wait, sorry, ERC20 methods. Come on, okay. And here we can do, for example, total supply. With the method and again of course encode ABI. Perfect. <clears throat> now what we will need to do is to create a results value. Okay. Since it's in a sync fashion, we should use a weight. Let's do web3 multi-call. Here we have to use the aggregate object. Aggregate method, sorry. Aggregate. We pass the calls as a parameter, the calls array from here. And now we call it. Okay. And now let's see which results we get. Let's do results. Upon return data. Let's see. Let's do node index. Of course, we need to call the function main itself. For that, we'll do main, this is OK. And now here we'll do node index.js and 
boom, we got all the results. On today's video, we learn how the multi-call Web3 JS plugin enhances the functionality of the Web3 library itself, enabling smooth and efficient interaction with the multi-call 3. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos, and please don't forget to join our Discord channel and follow Web3JS on Twitter. Looking forward to see you soon!